the elephant. Everybody loves a good elephant, and for good reason. There are huge animals with some very unique features that make them stand out among every other land animal. Massive, tusked, bizarre, they seem to be so different than any other living creature, with the only thing seemingly coming close is their hairy dead cousins, the mammoths. But what if I told you that elephants aren't completely alone? A close ancestors of theirs still remains terrorizing planet Earth. How gargantuan, how bizarre could this mystery behemoth possibly be? Can human eyes even fathom such a monster? Nope, it's just this little guy. Meet the Hyrax. Indeed, Hyraxes are related to elephants. In fact, they are said to be the closest relatives of elephants. To look at the actual taxonomy of these animals, we have to go to the mammal suborder Afrotheria, which is mainly noted because many of its species are from Africa. Along with Hyrax and elephant, other animals within Afrotheria are aardvarks, the elephant shrew, and tenrex. From there, elephants and hyraxes are further grouped together in the clade Panangulata, where then they are finally separated into their different groups. In Panangulata, the only other types of animals besides elephants and hyraxes are the also bizarre Cyrenians, like manatees and dugongs, which makes slightly more sense to be related to elephants. But it's still bizarre this legless sea cow is closely related to the small rabbit-like hyrax. Which begs the question, why are these animals even grouped together? Maybe this hyrax-elephant relation is just a big prank by scientists. Of course, it isn't, and there is substantial evidence that these two beasties are related when you look at them a little closer. One of the most substantial pieces of evidence linking these animals is their feet. Look at the foot of a hyrax. Unlike the superficially alike rodents, the hyrax has flattened nails as well as delicate foot pads, just like an elephant. Their apparent canines are more akin to the ivory tusks of an elephant than the teeth of a rabbit or rat, due to the fact, like an elephant, these longer teeth grow from the incisors, not the canines. The male's testes of each creature are located within the animal rather than outside it, like many other mammals, and the female's mammaries are located near the chest of the animal, similar to primates and, you guessed it, elephants. Those last two similarities lead us to another odd similarity, which is their gestation. Elephants are infamous for their incredibly long time they spend being pregnant, about 21 to 22 months. Hyrax females have a gestation of 7 to 8 months, which doesn't sound too long, but remember, similar sized animals like a cat only gestate for 2 months. Hyraxes are also remarkably smart and social. The rock hyrax lives in large groups of 50, and can communicate through 20 different calls, as well as having latrine areas in their territories, places where they remember to do their business, rather than just pooping everywhere. These behaviors are all caused by the hyrax's larger than average hippocampus, the part of the brain that controls memory, another close similarity with elephants. Hopefully, that's enough evidence to show these two animals are closely linked, but enough about comparing these two creatures. Information about the hyrax usually ends with, it's the elephant's relative, and then people move on. But the hyrax has its own life, so let's focus on that. Luckily for us, the ecology of a hyrax is also pretty intriguing. There are five living species of hyrax whose habitats span across a huge swath of Africa and parts of the Arabian Peninsula. These are the rock hyrax, yellow spotted rock hyrax, also known as the bush hyrax, and western, eastern, and southern tree hyrax. However, these five can be split into two groups, rock and tree hyraxes, and all groups share a similar size range and diet, eating non-grass foliage, although sometimes eating small insects and other vertebrates. However, even though these animals look and are physically very similar, socially they are completely different. Forest hyraxes are much more basic in their behavior and lifestyle. Although awkward looking, tree hyrax are remarkable climbers and use this ability to escape predators. Mainly nocturnal, tree hyrax live in pairs in the forest where they forage for fruit and other vegetation. However, the far more intriguing group are rock hyraxes. The two species of rock hyrax, as their name suggests, live on rocky outcroppings where they hide in crevices for shelter in order to escape predators. Speaking of defense, you are probably wondering how an animal that closely resembles a furry chicken nugget could survive in a land of leopards and giant eagles without any canopy for cover, and that's where we find their unique social structure. The rock hyrax lives in groups of about 50 animals, made up of females and their young, 
with one adult male looking over them. Hyrax spends some time foraging for food, but a massive majority, 95%, is spent resting and basking in the sun together. This is because Hyraxes, like reptiles, retain heat poorly and must soak up heat from the sun. While majority is foraging for food or sunning themselves, a few members will be on sentry duty and alert the other if danger is nearby. They communicate danger through a shrill call, one of 20 unique noises used by Hyraxes in communication with each other. Male Hyrax noises even have syntax when they are singing, so the noises produced and their order in the song have meaning. They also have special dorsal patches, or scent glands on their back, which they are also used for communication and marking territory. Rock Hyraxes also have abnormally complex social behavior and understand something called structural balance, i.e. a Hyrax will recognize a friend of a friend as their friend and prefer socially stable groups where the hierarchy changes little. So that's the Hyrax. Although it may look like a humble little rodent, it's full of surprising quirks. Not only is this 4 kilogram furball related to the massive pachyderm, but stands out among others for its complex behavior, especially for such a small, almost vermin-like animal. The Hyrax is a great example in the animal kingdom that some interesting traits are more than skin deep. I hope you guys appreciate this shorter variant of videos. Once more, thanks to all the sources, footage, and images that I use uh, to produce this video. Also, a big thanks to my brand new editor, who's a big friend of mine, and is really helping me get these videos out without me committing a massive chunk of my spare time to making each video like I did with the last two. Of course, thanks for you, my audience, for watching, and see ya.